Um, well, okay, PQRS. This is the shape file that I can drop it on the form. Okay, it doesn't appear visually on the form, but below it you will see say file dialog one. This is the name of the control you are going to use in order to uh, select the file you want to save. The most two important properties for this one are uh, file name and filter. So after clicking on the save file dialog one once, uh, you can see the file name. This one you don't see uh, set it usually at design time you get its value at runtime because when the user selects a file its value changes to tell you where the file is or where you should store in a file the second one which is the filter uh, it helps you uh, show uh, seeing only specific type of files for example if you want to see only text file or if you want to see only image files and it's easy to set it contains two parts the first part is the text display to the user the second part is the filter that the application will use so for now we will write text files this is what i am going to see only the message text files and you'll put a pipe to separate it and write the second part which is star.txt if i change this one to star.jpg i will be only able to see jpeg images although what i see is the word text files uh, so uh, this one should be logically uh, something logically related to the extension right here and you press enter so we have just set our save file dialog and now we, we must uh, work with uh, work with it uh, programmatically okay so to save our work uh, let's go to the save button double click on that and to show the end user a save file uh, save file window or dialog we give the command save file dialog one which is the name of the save file dialog dot shot dialog this method shows the dialog to the end user and the user selects the, the file now we will check if the user sometimes doesn't choose a file you just hit the cancel button for sure because it changes his mind or something like that and in this case we must check if we uh, if that happens so if save file dialog one dot file name equals nothing then the file name will return you the name of the file selected now of course if he's uh, if the person clicks cancel the file name will be nothing because he didn't select anything and so uh, we will exit this subroutine and if not the actual save operation should start so file system dot uh, file open we will give it a file number one then we will should specify the file name and the file name is save file dialog dot file name of property this is it okay and our uh, file is an output file because we are writing data to the disk okay so the next step involves writing the data. Uh, so file system dot print one, which is the file number, and uh, we will write text box one dot text. This writes the data into the disk. And finally, file system dot file close one. And uh, this is it. Okay, save our work. Let's hit the run button and this is a test bye bye so select files select save you can see the save as dialog uh, those are old files don't concern yourself with them so uh, let's say uh, let's name it bye bye and click the save button okay so let's go to the desktop This is bye bye. Double click it, and you can see Notepad can open your document. No problem with that. Okay. So now let uh, next step. We finished the save file dialog. Now we have to open files, and to open the file, we need also some kind of an interface to uh, help us select the file. Luckily, we have the open file dialog. And uh, where's that? Let me know. This is the open file dialog. So drag and form 
and you get it down the screen. Its name is Open File Dialog 1. Again, we will do something very similar. First, we will modify its properties. We have also the same two important properties, which is file name. Again, the file name property usually is not set at design time, it's set at runtime. So I'm going to clear that. The filter property should, uh, should help me select specific type of files. And this uh, here, uh, this one will be text files, okay, by star.txt, enter. And now, after we have uh, finished setting these, uh, the, uh, the properties of this dialog, let's work with it. So go to the file menu and double click uh, the open. Okay, now the code works very similarly to the uh, to the way the save file dialog was written. So now open file dialog one dot shot dialog. Again, we if we, we will check if no file is selected. So if open file dialog one dot file name equals nothing, then exit sub. Okay. Now comes the part where we should perform the actual save operation. Now. Uh, dimension tmp as string this one will hold our information that we read from the disk uh, file system dot file uh, file open one now we will get the file name open file dialog one dot file name and this one will be an input an uh, input uh, uh, file now do or get into a loop do while not uh, file system dot end of file one while there is still information to be read from the file tmp equals tmp detonate that with file system dot line on pod one okay now if uh, not end of file if there are more information to be read from the file then tmp equals tmp will add the inter character such r10 okay why, uh, why am i doing this uh, while the file is not uh, finished we will read one line of information and add that to the text of course each line is followed by an enter key and this is not read using the line output command uh, and so I am checking if this is uh, there are still more information to be read, which means we uh, we have an enter key. The enter key or the null line key is actually two characters, which is character 13 followed by character 10. So, so this is why I'm doing it this way. Finally, we will close the file by uh, calling file system dot uh, system dot file close one, and this is it. Uh, after that, we should update our display. So text box one dot text equal TMP, the information that we have just read from the uh, hard disk. As I told you before, don't worry too much about the programming part. We are just concerned with the dialog. The important part is that show dialog shows us the dialog uh, to help us select the file and the. Uh, the file name property of the dialog allow us to read the information from uh, 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 sorry to get the file name from the dialog itself. So save our work, uh, run the application, and select file, select open. You can see the open dialog here. We will select, for example, bye bye, and see this is it. File open again. Let's try test two. Uh, okay. Oh, it's an identical file. Let's open test one, and you can see it's a little bit different. So I have some kind of rubbish here. Okay, so we have just finished uh, the code to uh, to save files and open them, make new files, and close. Let's now get into the um, the font part. Of, well, the font command here will change the font in the text box to make it more readable, and to help us. Uh, selecting the font, the correct font, there there is uh, a control called the font dialog. So this is it. Let's drop it here again. It's it appears uh, down here under the window, and to use that, uh, it's called font dialog one. To use that, we will uh, 